Hello, we're going to actually carve the pumpkin today. A little more advanced, we're going to carve the pumpkin. This is Dr. Kirk. Welcome to 3dtopic.com. Now, to carve the pumpkin, we just kind of jump into it. And it's a little different because it's already got the ribs in it. So it's a little tricky to carve. Make sure it's selected. Go to the vertex first. I'll make it a little bit easier. And it might not be symmetrical because of the way the ribs have been made. So we just have to ignore the back facing and select some of the points here. For example, ah, make sure your soft select is off. If your soft select is on, take it off immediately. So grab some points. I'll grab a few. And I'll start by connecting them. So I'll grab some and I'll start connecting them. Basically, I'm making the eyes here. They're not going to be symmetrical, like I say, because of the way the pumpkin is set up. So it won't be symmetrical at all, but it should be interesting. I think I'll grab this and this for this side. And over here, maybe this and this. So we'll see what we end up with that way. Feel free, after you get your shapes in order, to just delete the polygons. It makes it easier to see them. So something roughed out like that over there. Something like this over there. Might want to take that out. Mm, kind of symmetrical, sort of. Yeah, it has a pretty good look to it. I could put a nose in if I want to. Let's do that. Go to the vertex, grab that. Hold down control, grab that. And by no means am I using any kind of symmetry as I build this. So let's go down here, back to connect. And we'll start to build up the nose. Just a basic triangle nose for this, and a polygon again. Just grab these and delete them. Now for the mouth, put this up a little bit. And it pops, not in polygons, in vertices. Select. And as you would expect, we're going to connect those. and something on the other side to connect also. Try to grab that point, there we go. So, they've got a sharp kind of connection here. And build this down. I think I'll grab this and right there. Pretty much whatever you want it to look like. Over here, I'm gonna grab this and this one. Connect those. So I'll have it grinning heavily on the side over here. I think I'll bring it down like so. And like so. So I have kind of an interesting face here. I do the polygons. Grab the grinning ones. Uh, that's a wild kind of look. Well, let's see what we get. Hmm, interesting. I think I'll get rid of this also. And eh, maybe not. That's one of those tough calls right there. I think I'll leave it for the moment the way it is. That should be fine. Alright, anyway, I just quickly carved this pumpkin. And we're good to go on this. Now we're ready to clone this pumpkin. So I grab it. Elements fine. I'm going to edit clone this pumpkin. Just make a copy of it. I'll call it pumpkin shell. That's what it's going to end up being. So pumpkin shell. Hit the OK. Now I have to size it out. So I'll click on the size here. From all angles, I'll just bring it out a fair amount. Let me take a quick look around. That should be OK. So I've brought this out. Now I have two shells here basically. Go back to the select. Now what we have to do is basically connect these. So I'll grab hopefully both of them. I can see them better here. If I open up the layers right here. Sphere there, sphere there. Okay. Oops. So I can grab these pumpkins. 
hopefully both of them. And I can attach them. So I'll attach them over here. I could group them, but I want to attach them, actually. So we hit attach. And now they're basically one object. They're basically one object. There's still something I want to do in here. A bit different. Go to the selection. And if I bridge these now, it's not going to look right. Let me give you an example. If I go to the border and try to bridge these, it's not going to work right. I can click bridge, and it's all inside out. It's not working. We're not seeing through it. So what I actually have to do is take a whole element. I'll do the inside one. And I need to flip it so the bridge won't be turned around. So I'm flipping this inside out. Now, I can select both of them if I want to, because I'm going to do the borders. So grab the border here, grab the border there, and now if I bridge it, I'm going to go into the display here. I'll bridge it with two sections to hold it more rigid. So now I can bridge it. I've got it built. So this works perfectly. The only trick that remains now is selecting these borders. Now we can very quickly go through and do the same thing with bridge, and it will bring in those two sections. They're actually almost done with our pumpkin. So grab the nose here. Same type of thing, we'll hit a bridge, and for the very last part over here, we'll do the same thing. We'll grab these, and we'll hit a bridge. So I suddenly have our pumpkin all carved out for us, which is perfect, that's what we're after. Once we get that, one of the very last steps is to modify that and do, of course, a mesh smooth. So we go down to mesh smooth, apply that, and there we go. I've got a pretty decent pumpkin. Something you might want to do. Let me take off the lines here. Something you might want to do is bring up the iterations. Every time you do this, be careful because it brings more polygons into play. It increases your polygons. takes longer to render. So right now I have a very good looking pumpkin. And if you want to make it a nice ceramic pumpkin all one color, that's perfectly fine. Remember from our basic tutorial, we can always bring this part up and make a stem. And we're set. We have a beautifully carved, very good looking jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. Happy Halloween!